Good morning, guys. And, uh, kind of a good morning. Y'all seen my video earlier about Vicky getting sick and the doctor telling her that, uh, hey, it's just, you got, uh, UTI. Even though she was puking and doing all kinds of other things, which we didn't understand, but we're not doctors. Although one of my friends thinks he is. Uh... So she went in the hospital and gave us gave her some pain pills that night. She felt pretty good with the pain pills. Next morning, you've seen uh, the video I put on here. Uh, she was, uh, I was in the line to get her prescription, which we assumed would fix her up. Well, they said in two days, if you ain't better, you better call us. Well, we called, it wasn't even quite, it was almost two days. And they said, you need to take her to the clinic. Something's not right. Anyway, so, uh, we go to the clinic. Take her over there. First of all, I'm going to go back to the doctor that checked her out in the emergency room. Uh, he just came in. We, I bet we didn't see him four minutes. And, uh, because they give her the blood test. He comes in and he says, yeah, that's what you have. Let me push on you. Pushed on her and. Yeah, that's where it should be, and all. He was pretty certain that's what it was. And he left. Uh, not impressed with that guy, and you're going to see why. Well, like I said, we went to the clinic. Uh, they, they took her in there, and they didn't, they didn't make her wait long, boy. They took her right in. Now, I couldn't go in the cl clinic there's some places you can go because coronavirus can only go certain places you know that so i couldn't go in there with her she and she was in there quite a while a couple hours and they uh, did all kinds of tests on her and they said uh we're red flagging you because there is something very bad wrong with you you need to go back to the emergency room and they're going to have to do a ct test and a bunch of tests because something's not right so that's what we did. We ran down to the hospital. I was there all, we were there. We got out of the house here at 8.30. I didn't get home till six or so last night, I don't know. But we were in the hospitals and off and on. They let me go into the ER with her. And they tested her and, and her belly is starting to, you know, stick out a little bit, you know. And they go, yeah, there's something wrong. They, even the nurse said, patted her stomach. Go, uh, I think you got, I think you got something wrong with your bowels, a bowel blockage maybe. So they stand her in there, and they, man, they tested her good, CT scans, all kinds of stuff. The poor girl hasn't really ate anything since Monday. Today is Saturday. Uh, she couldn't even keep water down before we took her to the clinic. Couldn't keep nothing down. And I tried, guys. I really did. And uh, but I didn't know what to do. I'm not a doctor either. So they come back and they said, yeah, you, something's going wrong in there. It's either your appendix, appendix or you have a bowel blockage. But we can't tell which one. We're going to have to operate. Now, there's two kinds of operations. If you're lucky, they make three little incisions in, in your uh, abdomen. And then they put a camera in there and they look around. And then they can fix it from that, them three little holes, if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, they got to rip you open <clears throat> like a jack-o'-lantern. And uh, the good thing is she was lucky. They got, got, they got the three holes in there and they found out what it was. The bad thing is what it was. She had a ruptured appendix, guys. You know that'll kill you. I'm very, very concerned. Uh, they think they got it all out, but she's in the hospital still. Uh, she went in yesterday at 10 been in there 24 hours now they said uh, the first 72 hours are critical 
they got to get her they get their pump under full of antibiotics and they're watching her and they're trying to get her up and getting her moving i guess when they when they do this surgery they have to go in there and they numb all your guts so nothing works so they got to get her up and wake all that up before she can she, she's on fluids today is all uh so uh i'm going to attach a link here i mean uh, right underneath there i'm going to put what she what she just texted everybody that knew about it we didn't i didn't go on here and tell all you guys that uh this i, I was kind of busy you might understand that and kind of concerned and kind of worried and i'm sorry about my wife takes number one and number two is right there you guys are a little farther down on the list but uh i'm gonna put that link on here y'all send out some good vibrations there and for you that uh, uh, I call and you know about it because your wives are following my wife and such. Thank you all so much for your uh, kind words. And I know my YouTube people, I know you will be filling this up with kind words. If I don't answer you, please don't think I'm being rude. I'm just a little preoccupied. Preoccupied? Preoccupied. Yeah. I'm thinking of my wife, so I'm thinking of. So anyway, that's what's going on in my life right now. Uh, today is uh, January 9th or something. I'm putting this on here live right now, today. Uh, there's lots of other videos where you're going to see uh, us talking and stuff. And that's before this one. Uh, let's hope... In 72 hours, she's just dancing like a like a little fairy, and uh, and out of the hospital between three and five days. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for everything.